Hey everybody, this is CLS All in One, and I just picked up this roof mount flip down monitor for my vehicle made by Extrons with a 1080p HD screen. So let's check this out. So here's an up close look at the monitor, and I really like the looks of this. It's got a nice sleek design. It's nice and low profile. The last TV I had that was an overhead mount was made by Rockville, and that one was really thick. This one's a lot thinner. As far as the quality of the construction goes, it seems to be built really nice. I wouldn't consider this a high-end device though because you can get these starting around 130 bucks, but for that price, I think you're getting a pretty good deal. For inputs, it does have a micro SD card slot, a USB port, and an HDMI input. So we can watch movies via USB flash drive or that micro SD card, or you can plug in an HDMI device to watch movies as well that way. And for all the hookup connections, it does have quite a few, and I'll kind of go over those one by one here. It does have two composite video input connections as well as two composite audio connections. You got a power, a ground wire, then you also have power control for the LED lights on the monitor, plus you have light control for when you open your doors. So every time you open a door, the LED light will turn on. And that's a really nice feature. When you open those doors and those lights turn on, it makes it feel like that item came in your car to begin with instead of being some aftermarket item that you just bolted up to your ceiling. And just to let you know, I've already had this product for about six months and I was waiting to do a review because I want to make sure everything's working good. And so far, everything is working great. And here's a quick look at some of the specs. And if you want to go ahead and pause it on the screen so you can see all these specs, you can. But I'll go over just a few of them here. It does work off of a 12 volt operating system, but it can work from anywhere from 10.8 volts to 15.8 volts. And it requires three amps of power. For the screen size, it's 12.1 inches and it's an HD TFT digital screen with a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels. For the media format, it accepts via the USB slot or the SD card slot. It accepts quite a few. We got AVI, MPG, MPEG, MP4, XVID, and a couple other formats. And for the audio output, we do have a couple different options. We can use the FM tuner, so we can just tune into a station on a radio to get that sound to broadcast through our speakers. Or we can use the built-in infrared sensor to pair a couple of different headphones. And I did install this in a 2010 Cadillac Escalade that's black and chrome. So this overhead TV that's black and chrome matches really well. As far as how to install these, it is a little bit complicated. And I do have a video that shows how to install an overhead roof monitor. So if you want to check that out, you can. The link will be in the description down below. And to make that screen come down, it's real simple to do. You just push this button here and that screen pops right down. Now the screen does rotate front to back, but it does not rotate left and right. So that might be a drawback for some people out there. For all the button controls, they're just touch sensitive buttons that you just barely have to touch. And then they have green LED lights that glow inside of them so you can see them well. You can also use the remote control to control everything, but when you're this close to the monitor, the remote control really doesn't make any sense. As far as the picture and audio go, the resolution looks really nice, especially for a screen this small. For the audio, sometimes I do run into some interference issues when using the FM tuner, but it also depends on where you're located and how many FM stations are broadcasting at once. But when using infrared headphones, I don't seem to have any issues and they work well. And here's a look at the LED reading lights and you can turn these on and make them either white and blue. But when you open your doors, they automatically turn white. I haven't figured out a setting to make them blue. When I open the doors, it seems like you can only choose white. So right now I'll open the door and you can see they glow white. And to be honest, it's actually better that it glows white because when you open that door, it gets nice and bright. When it's on the blue light setting, it looks really cool, but it's not that bright. Also, for my overhead monitor, I have an HDMI device hooked up through this HDMI cable. So this actually links to an Android TV box that's in my glove box, so I can watch movies on that as well. Also, if you wanted to, you could use something like an Amazon Fire TV stick that would plug directly into the HDMI port and then be powered by the USB port. Then if you have a phone that has a Wi-Fi hotspot, you could use that to link to your Amazon Fire TV stick and watch movies on the go. And I'll actually be demonstrating this in a future video. Okay, it is time for me to go. Thanks for watching. This is CLS All in One. If you want to hear more from me, please like and subscribe. And to see more of my videos, just click any of these categories to see more.